welcome. Let's talk about psychology. Today I want to talk about our memory for names. People's names. People's names in particular. Like our memory for names. Remembering people's names is a very common struggle. It is it just is something that many of us struggle with. It's and and we also I do think when it comes to names like people are really cute. People were very sweet. Like we are horrified if we forget somebody's name. Like we never want to hurt anyone's feelings. We never want somebody to feel forgotten. We care a lot. We care a lot about remembering people's names. But it's just so hard. It's just so difficult. Like as humans, people's names are really hard. And it's like compared to all of the other types of words. Like compared to all of the other types of words, names are extra difficult. It's like they're hard to learn them and it's hard to remember them. So it's like it's hard to get them into long-term memory to begin with. And then even if they've been in there, it's hard to get them back out. It's There's something very difficult with people's names. So let's talk about it. So what's going on? Why are names so hard? Uh, in real life situations, like when we meet someone new at work or at a party and we are introduced to them and we hear their name. It is not uncommon that we were not paying attention to the name. When when we are first introduced to someone, we first hear their name, sometimes we are not fully paying attention. And so then we don't, we never learn the the name to begin with. And this, I think, is like a function of just conversations and introductions, just kind of how they work. Usually when someone introduces themselves, their name is said super early. It's like one of the very first things that they say. And a lot of the time we are like there's, it's kind of a busy situation and we're just trying to figure out what's going on, we miss it. So like, I don't know about you, but when I meet somebody new at a party, I'm pretty much still thinking like, is this person coming over here? Uh, they've already come over and told me their name. I, I, I'm that far behind and what's going on. So I'm just trying to get my bearings on what's happening. They've already said their name. I missed it. I, I didn't hear it. I'm out. And then I do also feel like in conversations as well that like, okay, so somebody, they say their name early on in the conversation and then like never again, it, like it never comes up again. And so there's no second chances. There's, there's, there's simply no second chances to learn. So if we miss their name at the beginning, a lot of times it's just, that's, we're just, that's it. We didn't learn it. Then when we go back to try to remember it, it's not there. Never was there. Never made it into long-term memory in the first place. So like in real life situations when we're introduced to people, sometimes we may not be paying attention. That's why it makes it hard to, to learn people's names. But even beyond that, even under like the most ideal circumstances, like when we are really, really trying, names are still super hard. So like, I don't know, did you have to learn a lot of names in like history class? I I had to learn all of the U.S. presidents. Brutal. That is brutal. So hard, right? So hard, in fact. Uh, We had to have a song. There's no other way to do it. There's, There's no other way to learn all of those names. For most of us, We have to have a song. So what is it about names? What is it about names in particular that seems so challenging? To me, it looks like one like important factor, one big important thing that goes on with names is really that names usually have almost no meaning, little to no meaning. They don't provide a lot of information. So if you know that my name is Tess, that doesn't really tell you very much about me. You, you don't really know what my deal is 
you just know my name and it's kind of just something that has to be memorized. Other information like people's jobs, their interests, their hobbies, where they're from, that type of information is much more meaningful. It provides like context for the person. So if you know that I'm a psychology instructor, well, that kind of helps you sort of fill in me. It just it sort of helps you fill in like what my day-to-day life might be like, what my interests might be, and that type of information, people's occupations, their hobbies, where they're from, that is much easier to learn. That type of information is is much easier to learn and it's probably because it is meaningful and it does like provide context and information about that person. And I think this is really cool. I think this is really cool because it highlights to me that like it's really just the names that are difficult. Like if we forget someone's name, that's usually it. We remember other things about them. So I don't know if you have this, but I have like a couple of celebrities. I have a couple of celebrities who... I can never remember their name. It's every time. I I cannot remember their name every single time. But I know who they are. I recognize them. I know what movies they've been in. I know who they've dated. I know things about them. It's just that for some reason, I cannot retrieve the name. And so it looks like this is what happens in real life too. Like if we forget an acquaintance's name because we haven't seen them in a while, we usually know them. We know things about them. Um, We know how we know them. We know what they do, things like that. It's just that the name, the name sometimes doesn't come. So names, it it's names in particular they're they're hard they just are they're hard to learn they're hard to remember they're a struggle but we all struggle with them together it's a very common human struggle names are difficult so i guess that's really well all that i have i just want to come in talk about our our memory for names, our struggles with names. And um, that's all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, Please leave any questions or comments that you have. Love to hear from you. My next video, it's probably going to be two weeks. I'm so sorry. I know I just did like a two week break, but I I think that's what I have to do again this week. So... I hope you have a good couple of weeks. Hope to see you soon.